Arena. What a night. We expect this to be. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. I feel like a fraud. How have I got these ringside seats? It's time for our tale of the tape. Sugar Ray Robinson, 5 foot 11 inches tall with a reach of 72.4 inches. And you know it's going to be a tough fight when you're facing this man, Ricky Hit Manhattan. Five foot seven inches tall with a 75 inch reach. There's an amazing reach advantage, which you do not actually realize is there until you get popped by that jab. The distance that's great is ridiculous. Sugar Ray Robinson, one of the most skilled boxers to ever lace up the gloves, inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1990, and he fights out of Harlem, New York. Ricky hit Manhattan, fighting out of Manchester, United Kingdom, one of the most beloved fighters in English boxing history. Look at this, these fights are so awful. Look at that. And now we toss it up to the world-renowned ring announcer, Mr. Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 15 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner, from New York, here is one of boxing's all-time greats with 174 wins in his 201 fights. A welterweight champion of the world, a five-time middleweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Robinson. Fighting out of the blue corner, introducing from Manchester, England, a popular and exciting junior welterweight and welterweight champion of the world, here is Ricky Hitman Hatton. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. This is an arena fight. You couldn't have got anybody else in this place. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. And that's the opening bell, round one. He misses with that jab. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. We both covered thousands of boxing matches in our day but I don't think I've ever been to a venue quite like this. Todd, I love theaters. For all these reasons, you can hear everybody in the crowd. You can hear the punches. The punches actually echo. If you're that party coming in, and you know you're in such an, an intense atmosphere, you know what the pressure is going to be on. All the seats have been taken in this unique setting what an event it will be here tonight. Some nice exchanges from both men in this room. Are we about to see Ricky Hatton go down? Ricky Hatton couldn't take anymore, and down he goes. back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. All right. Good counter right hand again. Nice shot with the left. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this left. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. To make or break a fighter. And there's the 
go for round two. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. If you're fighting a counter puncher, you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every trip. The perfect counter lands. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? Exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that big right hand. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Ricky Hatton right now, not where he wants to be. Down goes the hitman. the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. Nice cut as Ricky Hat has been clipped. You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown is going to be we just saw. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. Let's get it started in round three. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got to hustle now. He's got to, he's got to bluff them. Big left there, but misses. Catch and shoot. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. the combination to this safe. That punch lands. This is not good news for Rick. Big punch and Ricky Hatton is down. and one of the biggest surprises of the year. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it.